and Sorry Tag having a lot of characters and a Lex for the Chandelure. So, not too surprising with the character selections with these two. Um, both of their mains. I know Sorry Tag has kind of leaned away from Chandelure a little while, but in favor of Mewtwo, but now going back to the Chandelure. Whimsical coming out here for Zephyriel and able to get the Miss Magius. It uses it to pressure here in field. Ooh. Ooh. Hits him again with a homing attack and able to get it. Does a little bit of chip with the flamethrower. Sorry, Tag doing chip of his own with the laser. See, since Shandylore was in the air, that's not going to hit, but Zeph pushing him up against the wall. I like those buttons coming out from Zeph. Able to get out of there and reset the situation. Tries to break the shield, not able to get it. Well, I don't know what that grab was. Maybe trying for a 6Y. Flamethrower. Just going to hit the tip. And the flamethrower able to get it. See, I'm not see, I'm not sure if this is Zeph's playstyle or if it's this playstyle against Chandelure. It's actually going for the flamethrower a little bit more. Laser from Sorry Tag able to connect. Up stance from <laughs> from Zeph there. See, Charizard snout going and hitting that, that hex or will o wisp and getting the attack down. Dash up Umbreon gets the double debuff here on Zeph, dropping the combo. But still a lot of damage there with Rage, and he has burst as well. Sorry, Tag able to use his first. But then he lets the shield get broken. And then able to close it out here with a burst of his own. Great job by Sorry, Tag there, recognizing that he's going for the fire punch. So I'm not sure what Zeph's reasoning was for not spending the burst. Maybe you want to try for game number three, but so close there. So I would have elected to use it. I'm not sure what support he's... He is, I guess, running Whimsical Cheer, so there is no guarantee that he's going to be getting any synergy, synergy in the next round. Doesn't go for the combo. Actually, elects for the Miss Magius. And sorry, Tag didn't get hit by it. Whoa, oh, air tech's out of it, actually. So Zeph, Zeph kind of losing out on his Oki, but goes for the Inferno. Puts the Shandy against the wall and gets a lot of damage with the extra, extra wall damage. Now Zeph trying to close it out here. Dive kick from Sorry Tag pushes Zeph up against the wall. Zeph able to just jump out for free. Burst running out from Zeph, not able to close it out. Great job by Sorry Tag actually holding strong there. Stay so sitting at 5 HP, uses his time to set up Miss Magius. Now can he punish the landing? Can he punish the landing? He can with his tail. Homing attack going in there, securing the game. That is game number one. Alright, game number two. No changes by characters going straight into it. See, I like Sorry Tech's playstyle there. Really uh, holding strong against Charizard, not getting scared of that burst, but not able to capitalize in field, so... The Chandelure can do a lot of things to really keep herself in the air. But at one at some point she does need to come down. So if you just sit there and block everything she wants to do and maybe take if you can afford to take the chip. So that's why he's up stancing. Actually looking for the hex. Some high level tech coming out here from Zeph. Really knowing this matchup. The 8Y from Chandelure having a great button in this matchup. Has just so, so many hitboxes and able to swat Charizard out of the air. Inferno gets him a little bit away, but Sartag able to punish with his own 6X. Going actually the tail, getting around the 8Y from Chandelure and the Miss Magius getting set up. Sartag using the Umbreon, but not enough active frames. Full charge from Shandy. Not able to outlast the full charge from Charizard. 
Zephyril sitting on match point here. So you're going for the seismic toss to get in. So I like this flamethrower. So he's really not giving oh up on the wall. This could be a lot of damage, and he's gonna capitalize. That is a ton. Over 50% of his health bar gone just with that one combo. So Star Attack really needing to turn up the heat here. Swats him out of the air with the 8Y. Sets up the Will-O-Wisp. So Zephyro really favoring Flamethrower in this match, and it's working out for him. Star Attack calling Burst, trying to close it out, and catches the CA attempt from Charizard. Sartek trying for the turn or the opening round laser, but it actually goes for the Beyblade is what's going to take it. Not the right button coming out from Sartek. Maybe look, electing for that 8Y. Zephyro getting in, going for that chip setup again. The Sartek finally finding an answer. Goes for his own JY. Flamethrower coming out here. Whoa, that could have been dangerous and a shield break. Is he going for burst? No, he's just going for more chip. And this is my catch. It is going to catch, and, and Zephyriel is going to be taking that matchup, really showing that he's been practicing that matchup quite a bit. And then Zephyriel is going to take it 2-0 over Sorry Tag. Thank you everyone for joining. Guard break number 11. Make sure do the thing that everyone says. Like the